PR varies um, from my experience, really. You could be doing internal communication today. You could be doing corporate responsibility tomorrow. Um, sometimes you could even be the CEO's PA. So you need a bit of administrative skills. Sometimes you could even be the fashion consultant for your CFO. You know, that you're showing up here. I think you need to put on a tie, your jacket, the color. Um, you know, all those things matter. So look at it. It has a range of interest. It has a range of opportunities in there. It is not just necessarily public relations. There's so many different career angles to a PR opportunity. So look through that. Try to work towards that and try to build your CV towards that and build your competencies as well in that. Um, plan and prepare. I've already spoken about the volunteering experience. Also get a mentor, get support, get advice. Beyond your reading, um, you know a PR person in a certain company or you know someone who's done PR or someone. These days the conversation is no longer even about digital marketing. It's actually becoming a digital reputation conversation. If you know people who've done those kind of jobs and those kind of roles, speak to them as well. Ask them, what did it take for you to get here? How were you able to navigate this? How do you do that? X, Y, Z. Find out and keep building at it because all those feed into your competencies and it feeds into your strengths. Don't be deterred when you apply for the vacancy and you get a no or you don't get a response or the response you get is not what you're looking for. Don't be deterred. Keep up with it. And when you go for interviews as well, you know, beyond showing up and saying, I'm here, I'm ready for an interview, one of the things I would actually advise you do is what, read about the company. When you've understood about the company, search for information about them. Put together a piece on what the company does right, what they could do better. If you're hired, what difference are you going to add on? You could actually go with a PowerPoint presentation. I mean, I find it really exciting when I'm hiring even for junior roles and they show up and they say gifty. Um, I think you've done this and that and that amazingly well. However, I feel these parts have been left out. Or if you hire me, I have this X, Y, Z idea and these are the things I bring on board. I find it super amazing. Distinguish yourself. Really, you have to differentiate. You cannot be the PR person who waits until the CEO comes to tell you we need to do this activity. You cannot be the PR person who waits until the marketing team is launching a project and that's when you only have a story or you have a campaign or you have a visibility activity that you want to do. You need to differentiate and you need to distinguish yourself. Ace it. Lead the pack. Come up with the idea. Come up with a concept. Sometimes you even sell the concept to the marketing team. Sometimes sell the concept to the CEO. Look through that newspaper every morning. When you flip through, you find something that's interesting that your organization can partner with or can collaborate with. Call the people, look at the opportunity, have conversations about it. What would it take for my organization to be a part of it? So really, for me, is differentiate yourself because PR where is going now is purely a return on investment conversation. It's an ROI conversation. Now, if you're not doing much, you cannot ask for extra budget. If you're not showing how you deliver value, you cannot do that. Again, for you as a PR professional, if you're not doing much, you cannot even justify why you need to be promoted or why you need a salary increment. Mm -hmm.